Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video I'll be talking a little bit about the Azerothian Archives event, now that I've gotten to do uh, the introductory stuff at least on live, and kind of give my thoughts about it and whatnot, um, as far as, you know, what I thought about it, what I thought it could be, you know, things like that, right? So, Azerothian Archives, if you haven't done it yet, basically you'll get a quest telling you like step by step what to do, but it's kind of like a more complex version of archaeology if you've done archaeology in the past uh you there'll be spots you know it'll tell you a place to go whether it's through like a world quest or a spot on the map whatever uh, archaeology you know famously had spots on the map where you go and do your archaeology um you go to the spot there'll be some places on the ground you need to use your uh these uh little elementals that you'll get different elementals depending on where you're at and they'll like start the dig thing up there's like a resource meter it's a really overly complex thing in my opinion i think archaeology was much better even though i don't think archaeology was necessarily good where you just kind of like you know kept using the thing until you got right on top of it or whatever um but it's, it's just kind of overly complex in 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 my opinion uh i feel like they use some of the tech from the secret finding event um which i kind of had a th feeling they would even before this came out uh but not in a good way right so it's it's like a it's like an overly complex version of archaeology that isn't really that good. Now there is some cool stuff like so once you finish a dig, you can then like see the visions from the past or whatever uh, by using these little goggles and standing in the right spot. And you know that has potential for like storyline narratives and stuff like that. But this seemed to be like something that like you know one dev might have tried to put together because you know, they want to bring back archaeology or whatever. Maybe it's somebody that's really passionate about archaeology um, and they're trying to do it in a more modern wow way or something like that. But to me, it definitely fell short on that. Again, I think it's just like, I think it's like overly complex and just convoluted and it's not going to make people want to do it as far as it being a feature that would ever continue on in the future. I think they'd have to change it immensely. Probably the most annoying thing is, and it's hard to explain, um, I was hoping uh, I would just by doing this it would like start the dig right up and i would be able to show you uh right away uh, but it appears i'm gonna have to do some steps perhaps here if i want to actually show I so here's a spot okay so let's zoom in a little bit so this is like a spot so i'm in this area here here's a spot and then you can use like your uh little totem and that's going to be able to like trigger your elemental here so that's that's like one step and now, if, if it was just like this, then you had to dig it up or whatever, then that would be fine, pretty much. Uh, and in this case, that is the case. But, so what what you have to do, though, is... So this just, this just wants me to do that on a bunch of them. But what eventually you have to do is, you have to do that, and then your elemental is going to be, like, doing some elemental thing to it. So I don't know what the, the wind one does. But, like, the fire one heats it up, and then there's water puddles around it. And you run through the water puddles <laughs> to cool it down. And then you know, when you're not moving, you're, you're trying to dig up the treasure and you can only dig it when it's in like a certain area. It's, it's really hard to explain because it is just, again, a little bit convoluted in my opinion. Um, I do love archeology, span the old profession archeology. span um, and I would like to see it come back. I would like to see it come back in a more interesting way. I just don't think this is it. I don't think it should have to do with elementals at all. I think it's weird that we're putting down totems to do this in general. Um, you know, the person may be working on it like shamans a lot or something. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense either. So I appreciate them taking a stab at this, a uh, stab at perhaps a new archaeology. I really hope this isn't something that they continue to iterate on and press forward. I, that's not normally something I say. Normally I say, hopefully they keep working on this to make it better or they reuse this design. And again, in the future, like with the, uh, the time ways or whatever, where you had to go through and do those. Uh, this, I do not feel that way about. This, I think, could pretty much be scrapped and you can kind of start new. Uh, I like the idea of um, being able to see a memory from the past when you're like done with an archeology span find or something like that, when you're done with a dig. I think that's pretty cool. And I get like wanting it to be more interactive than the old archeology, span which again, I agree the old archeology span is also bad because you're literally just putting down these things and playing like Ooh, hot or cold, hot or cold, basically, right? And I don't think that's interesting either. But in my opinion, there's just got to be a better way to go about doing this. 
um, you know, maybe bring back the old archaeology uh, looking glass thing or something like that uh, for nostalgia's sake or something like that, but then maybe have it work differently where it's not just red, yellow, green, and then it's close or whatever or not close. Uh, maybe you could make it a little bit more complex, but I think this just, it doesn't seem to really make any sense. Like if I was doing this, like if I go to the wetlands or something, right, just some random place, and I get on my elemental to look for um, dig spots or something, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not normally very negative on these features because I normally think they do good for what they are, right? But if this, and if this is just for this patch, then it's fine. It, it, I should say that too, right? So let's say this is only for this patch and it was never intended to be used after this, then I think it's fine ultimately. But if this was like a, I'm taking it as this was like an attempt at kind of reshaping archaeology going forward. And if that's the case, I think you just got to go back to the drawing board on it um, and try to make it um, a little more interactive than old archaeology, but not like complex, not hard. You know, archaeology is a fun profession that you go out in the field and do. Um, it shouldn't be something that's hard. It shouldn't be like two or three different mini games combined to do archaeology because you're really going to limit the amount of people that want to do that. Like I would have never, I, I can honestly say this as someone who, when archaeology came out, I immediately went maxed everything, got all the cool rewards for it. Cause, and I thought it was so cool when it first came out as one of those players, if, if this is the way archaeology was designed, I would have never done that. Uh, this is just, it's not a fun experience in my opinion. So, um, yeah, I, I just hope that that maybe, Again, if this is an attempt at redoing archaeology going forward, I hope that maybe they can just go back to the drawing board. But on the positive side, I guess, if this is only meant for this patch, then it's fine. It, it, again, it's overly complex, but it's fine. It's just one patch thing. Not many people are going to end up doing it because it is kind of annoying. Like People are going to get to the first introductory quest, and they're going to say, holy crap, this is like 20 steps to learn this. Um, I don't want to deal with this. And it's not, none of it's intuitive either. None of it really makes sense. Like why I have to cool it off while the elemental is heating it up or something like that to be able to dig. Um, I don't know. I guess, well, it's making the earth too hot. So you're going to catch on fire or something. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. So I, again, I'm not good at making negative videos usually because overall I kind of enjoy things for what they are. But I just happen to think this is, happens to be a miss, and that's all. Um, again, no no personal offense to whoever made this or anything. I just happen to think that this Azeroth in Archives is kind of a miss. So uh, take the one good thing from it as far as seeing the visions from the past, because that would be really cool. Now, so one more thing before we end the video. So the same example. I'm in Wetlands. I'm doing a dig, right? And I find some, uh, you know red or black dragon artifact there or something right because of you know stuff that happened a long time ago and then i get to see like a part of the war a part of something right uh that would be really really cool actually so uh i like that that end part of it i think maybe you take that and move forward with it uh as far as something because it also makes sense right you complete the archaeological dig and because you completed the dig you have a semblance of what happened in this area you know many years ago i think that's kind of cool so to maybe take that part and then just kind of scrap the rest of it <laughs> and uh, kind of start over um, and, and start back from that original archaeology thing, which again is too oversimplified. But you don't want to make this too complex. Maybe maybe one mini game and the mini game kind of makes sense. And that's what archaeology was. It was you know hot or cold, you know green. You, you know you keep doing red till you get a yellow, yellow till you get a green. Um, and then inch closer to it, right? Um, which is a mini game too. So, but if you hate that mini game, if you think that's too stupid or whatever, maybe just think of a different mini game to do that again isn't overly complex or whatever. So that would be my advice. That's my feedback on Azerothian Archives. Uh, not something I'm going to be spending a lot of time on, to be completely honest, uh, after trying it out. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. As always, I do ask you please subscribe to the channel because it helps me out so much. And other than that, everybody. Have a good one.